Okay, today we're going to be making a button with a text graphic. And what we're going to use is GIMP version 2.6. This is relatively easy to create for novice users or people who haven't used GIMP before and fun for people who use Photoshop, although some features may or may not work or may have a different method, but in my opinion I like this program way better than Photoshop. Not only that, it's also free. Okay, let's go ahead and set up a canvas. Of 300 by 300. Mostly because it doesn't have to be that big. If you want a higher resolution for like Mac computers or Vista, use 1000 by 1000. We're going to start by using the rectangular marquee tool and selecting almost all of the canvas. Now what we're going to do is give it some rounded corners by checking the rounded corners box. And I'm going to go 22. Now let's give it a gradient, foreground black, background white, and drag from bottom to top. Hold control to constrain it to get a straight line. And that will work. Do is create a new layer. Now go to select, oops, shrink. I'm going to go by 5 pixels. Select one more time and click feather. In this case, 10 pixels. What this will do when we stroke the gradient down is create a concave 3D effect. Like so. I like that. So, I'm going to do is create a new layer and text tool. So, let's go ahead and type in point six. Text can do whatever you want. Uh, I want to center it. Go ahead and choose your font that you like. And increase the text size so it'll fit in almost the whole button. Now go ahead and check path from text. What this will do is create a path along the borders of the text, like so. I'm going to go ahead and stroke the gradient from bottom to top. Oops, I did not want that. Yeah, I think that looks good. Center a little bit. New layer. Select from path. And I'm going to fill black to create a shade. And drop it underneath the top lid. Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. I'll give it about 12. Of course, this can be whatever you want, depending on what you like. And I think this will do well. Go ahead and drop it under the text. As you can see, it gives it a like a rest off of the surface 3D effect. And after that, you're pretty much done. All you have to do is save it. I find that P 
King was a really good final pet for me, and I kind of like it. And that's how you make a very basic 3D button in GIMP 2.6 and, of course, Photoshop. Thank you for watching.